Hey guys, uh, let me talk about Narset. So this Narset was the one I traded away. Uh, it's the one I pulled and now it's come back home. And before you go ahead and say, oh, well, you ripped that guy off, blah, blah, blah. He always pretty much, uh, he knows his prices extremely well. And we always go down to like the exact dollar or there's maybe, if there's a difference, it'll be on my side, meaning that it'll be a dollar in his favor. So Narset, is a $30 card now in foil and I traded away. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll over trade. If I know somebody has given me a good deal in the past, so this Narset traded for a Snapcaster Maids and then like I think in Ugin, I think it was worth that much at the time. Snap was only worth 50 and Ugin was like 20 and that was like 70 and Narset was like 80 and then I called it even. But I traded away knowing that she is not going to she was not going to stay at 80. And the reason I did that was because I knew I could get her back from the same friend at um, now 60. So two Nissas. Actually like two Nissas and I think it was like a a few like there was something else minor on his side, but I over traded for it and you might say, oh well, that's like not a good idea, but sometimes when a trade goes really bad you have to make it even. And that's always been my philosophy in trading is build a reputation first. Don't worry about like, hey, you know, this guy took a dollar from me, he took $10, he took 20. Build a reputation and they will understand it. Like the Nissa I think is 27, 28 right now and that's 56 versus 30 and that's fine. Like $26 in his favor is fine just because I realized I did get a snap caster mage from this particular trade and then eventually it all bounces out. So when people think about when I make trades and stuff, I don't necessarily make them to get value. Um, I don't trade for value anymore. I trade for cards that have a, you know, a sentimental if my purpose was to play this game and enjoy the game, and that's what it is, then why should I penny pinch or nickel and dime somebody when in fact I want this Narset, this is my Narset. Um, she will still probably go down in price. Um, she's going to plummet, I feel like, even more. Um, Sarkon, I think in foil, was like 15 bucks. I think she could plummet to 15, but at the same time, you know, I totally fine with trading two Nissas into her because one of the cards I got out of this trading her away when I did was a Snapcaster Mage and there's no way that card's going to not be valuable even if it's not at the $80, $90 it is right now. So Narset, very beautiful card. I'm very glad to get her back again. Uh, obviously the card sees no play, but this I guess would be my worst trade because I traded $60 of highly demandable cards for $30 of cards that are not being played or demanded at all. So yeah, um, but sometimes you make that trade and I'm gonna title this video worst trade ever because financially it's a terrible trade but honestly I'm kind of glad I made it and I have the Narset and it's very near and I mean I pulled this card when it used to be 90 or 100 bucks. Um, and I traded into a Snap and an Ugin and probably like maybe a Fetch Land. And now I got her back for two Nissas. So yeah, Narset Transcendent. Interesting trade, but she's back home now. Bye guys.